Good Friday morning. It is Friday. Yay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Right? All the, all the things. Oh my gosh. It's been a long week. Okay. So, I think I updated you last night on, on everything that um, we kind of did last night. Had a, um, um, Jacob had, um, I think I may have told you that Jacob had a search warrant yesterday. Um, or maybe I told you he had a big thing he was doing. <laughs> but anyway, he had a search warrant. That went well. Everything went went fine. So um, then I had a meeting, a board meeting, um, and um, it was announced at that meeting that I'll be serving on that board. So I can officially say that. Um, now the council will need to approve that at the next meeting, and I'm sure they will. That's not a big, not a big step. But anyway, that's that's everything that happened with that. So um, yeah. So today, so. Busy. Oh, the dog wants it. Hold on. Lives revolve around the dog. Have you noticed? Okay. So today I'm, on, I'm walking back over here. I, if you notice, I always film in a couple places. It's just simply because of lighting. It's just like, okay, the light's better over here. Okay. So that is what um, we did yesterday. Today though, oh my gosh, today. So I do have to do some work. I have to go in to the office and work for just a little bit, but then I'm going to be off early and I hope the dog drinking is not too annoying. <laughs> he's so loud. I was gonna wait till he's done, but apparently he's never going to be done. Anyway, I wanna get my camera plugged in so I have plenty of battery for this afternoon because Jacob and I are going Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. We order almost everything that we buy, or a lot of what we buy on um, online, but we always try to do one, at least one big kind of Christmas um, trip shopping trip and this is it i'm excited i hope i've got to make a list and i hope to be as close to done as possible by the end of the day so that is great news we'll see i need to make a list of everything um and everybody that i need to buy for all the things so that's exciting but yeah first things first go to work for a little bit and then the weekend now that being said I'm working a lot on the weekends, so I'll have to work when I get back and tomorrow and Sunday and all that because it's just how it is. The dog's still making a lot of noise. He's such a guy. Like, he's so, he's so gross. Like, he, everything he does is loud and gross. Like, from drinking to eating to passing gas, it's terrible. It's to everything. So, anyway, talk to you soon. Okay, back home, and I am sitting down and making a list of everything I want to get like shopping wise today and then I am going to make Blake's board for homeschooling now I think I told you last week one of the things is is that we kind of um, plan out about um, four to four and a half days of uh, schoolwork for the week and then um, because we always end up adding things you know different things and then if we have a day that just it's crazy then we can kind of put that off and then usually on Thursday whatever extra things that I have scheduled for the kind of that half day oh, I think I have like oh it's the other eye <laughs> my makeup is like it's already been a long morning I'll have to chat up before we leave right um or maybe it's a shadow we'll see um but anyway um I am going to make Blake sports so anyway um Usually on Thursdays, he will do all of Thursday and then whatever else we have left for the week. So um, his Friday's kind of list or whatever. But this week was a little bit different, um, which is the beauty of homeschooling is that, <clears throat> excuse me, he went to... Um, he went to play at a friend's house on Monday, so he missed part of the day then. And then yesterday when we got back from SOAR, he did part of his work, but he was exhausted. Like, he, like, laid down, he read his book, and, like, fell asleep on the couch. Like, he was so tired, which was fine. And so he was really trying to do his work. And finally I told him, I'm like, buddy, why don't, why don't we just wait till tomorrow? Like, why don't you just do part of it this evening and part of it tomorrow and... And, and that's fine. And that's just, again, the beauty of homeschool, the beauty of homeschool. And so even if we didn't get it done today, he could do it on the weekend. Like he just, the, it's just the beauty of homeschool. So, but anyway, he will finish it, I'm sure, today. And so he doesn't have a lot to do, but I'm going to make his board and get him um, situated because we um, we should be leaving pretty, pretty shortly. We're on the road. It's almost 11, but we were able to get breakfast at McDonald's. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's driving crazy just to... <laughs> 
Gotta spill your sweet tea. Uh-huh. I got a lid. <laughs> Do y'all have sweet tea where you're where you're from? Because around here it's a it's a thing. <laughs> mm. You know what else is a thing? I almost hit a deer. You guys have deer where you live? In uh, Missouri, or at least this part of Missouri. We have a large uh, white tail deer population. We have other deer too, but we have a large white tail deer population. And I almost hit one on the way to work today. Like it was it was way too close. Anyway, I, I think that um, white-tailed deer is the most dangerous animal in Missouri because it, it kills more people, even though it's not like it doesn't like attack people, but more people die because of car accidents. So yeah, that's a random fact. Anyway, we're gonna have breakfast. We're there, looking. Oh wait, there's a sign kind of in the way, but it's Candy Factory and the world's largest gift store. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Disappointing. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, we only bought two things. We're going next door, which is why I don't have my seatbelt. Well, we're just going next door. It's in the same parking lot. To the gas station and to the candy factory, which is pretty awesome. But I really thought that I would, um, I thought we would be like done with, with Christmas shopping when we left that place. And we got like two, two little things. And one of them, one of them was a stocking stuffer and one of them wasn't even like something on our list. So I don't know. Now we have to figure out what we're gonna buy. Ah! Butter ranch dressing, maple syrup, mustard flavored soda. <laughs> you didn't want like the Martian soda or the bacon flavor? <laughs> I don't know if you can even buy a big league chew uh, or a big league gum anywhere anymore. Besides here, places like this. Oh, uh, candy cigarettes. I had to turn off the uh, video volume because there was music playing. But guys, this like candy factory, this it's like a gas station, but it has the most gorgeous bathroom. It's giant. It's beautiful, it's so clean, it's just spectacular. Okay, so we got a lot there. We got a uh, fudge, we got a candy taco. <laughs> I don't even know about the candy taco. We got a candy taco for Blake, some sour candy, the boys. We got our fruit beers. We have our fudge packed away. Mmm, yep. There went monetization. <laughs> <laughs> we got, well, it's kind of bright, but we got the peanut butter and chocolate. It's like the best of both worlds because probably peanut butter. Check out chocolate. But this is like. No, I like peanut butter. You like chocolate. No, I like the peanut butter. Oh, I like the peanut butter. I like peanut butter. I like, like peanut butter fudge, like old fashioned fudge. I like. I might call recording. I like the peanut butter. I thought you liked the chocolate. No, I like the peanut butter. Apparently, we have to stop Because I thought he said, you like peanut butter and I like chocolate. That is what I said. You like peanut butter, I like chocolate. Wait, no. No, that's, <laughs> that's what you said. I like peanut butter, you like chocolate. No, that's, that's not what, what you said. said. That's not what you said. <laughs> well, we like peanut butter and chocolate. We both do. <laughs> That's what we got. And but, it's just barks. And it's just barks. It's just barks. Um, and 
we now have diabetes. <laughs> we just ate a little. It's no, oh, it's sweet, y'all. Sweet. It's good though. It's really good. Can't go Christmas shopping without a trip to Hobby Lobby. I tried to pick a new pizza for my village each year, so this year we picked out the barn. So cute. I don't know all the options they had, like a gas station and a lot of places that, that um, a zoo, things that ours have not had. Jakey's on the phone. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Finally found a hoodie at Kohl's for Blake. Still looking. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were on the phone. I was like, it's nope. Jake on the phone again. The one that has a safety. I know, it's a safety. <laughs> this is what he's wanting to get him. This is a gift for another little one in our family. Single shot? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is, yeah, this is just a single shot. Hi friends! Welcome back to Vlogadays. Welcome to the weekend. It is Saturday. We have a lot of things to do today. Lots, lots of things going on today. Um, first off, I have to work, so I have to get some things done. I'll, I'll work from home, but I, I've got I've got a quite a thing, but things to do for work. And then um, we do plan to work at the house. Um, I think Jacob and Connor might go over there while I finish up work. Um, I think, um, but that a lot of that depends on. We have to go get. Um, a part life we have to go get a piece of uh, trim metal um, because we just didn't get over there this week it just the weeks are crazy and it gets by the time we get off and get home and everything it's like dark so um, yeah that's kind of kind of where we're at with that and we hope that once everything on the outside is at, done and we have electricity inside that um, we can work more during the week but that's kind of our plan for today so the tree has an issue. I'm gonna see if I can fix it with my little handy dandy thing here. We'll see. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it because it looks like every one of, well that one's not, but like every one of the bulbs looks like they're burnt out. So it must have had a short or something. Um, I don't know. There's a few not burn out, but I think we're gonna have to replace the, the string. So the place to get the piece of trim that we needed is closed, so we weren't able to do that. Jacob and the boys went over and worked a little bit on the electric, but um, they had some things that they needed. Oh, it's just been, it's been like one thing after another, like, we don't have that, we don't have that, we don't have that, we don't have that. <sighs> so hopefully we can get some of that done this week. But anyway, so that means what now? What now? Um, we are going, I'm going to do a little bit of Christmas decorating, I think. I'm going to try to get a few things up and finished and the house cleaned up because it's kind of a mess with everything. And then um, I guess I need to replace those lights um, somehow in the middle of all the stuff. Try to do that. That's, that's the plan. So we are still still it's november getting peppers out of our garden um the um uh, what are they called my mind just went like cayenne peppers cayenne peppers so we um the boys love um crushed red pepper and we make them out of cayenne and so um so far we only had four small plants this year um, and they have done really well and we've gotten about a jar and a half to two jars of crushed red pepper but they're still producing and so i think i have about enough for about half a half a small jelly jar full of them but anyway i got those in the oven i'll show you so it's kind of dark in there but they are drying got the oven at 170 and they'll cook for five or six hours so that is kind of, the boys went to get, pick up some lunch. Um, we don't normally eat out unless we're going to be gone. Um, but um, for some reason, Jacob was just like, let's do this. And so that's what, that's what we're doing for lunch is we're, um, we're getting takeout. So there's that. <sighs> and I'm done working for, at least for now until more things come in. I'm putting up a couple things. <laughs> I need to wash my glass tabletop but anyway I put up that little glass um, tree that Connor bought me last year uh, you can see the paint chipped on the wall we used to have a reclining couch and and the kids would put out the foot thing and it would scrape the wall I haven't touched it up because I really want to paint the walls gray 
that's a thing. That was a, a conversation um, about a year ago, I think. Um, we were having, uh, we were gonna have our house appraised or whatever, and we, Jacob was like, let's paint the walls. And I was like, don't touch up the walls, don't touch up the walls. And he was like, why? And I said, because I wanna paint them. I don't like the color. And he goes, how long have you not liked the color? And I go, you know that day we painted them? Since then. <laughs> But I was too tired. We were like already involved to change it at that point. So I just didn't say anything, left it. That's how it is. And then um, I brought um, down, let's see, let's, I brought down um, some of my floral things. I'm gonna, um, I need to fluff it still. And then I did get the uh, box out for the garland for the, the stairwell and I washed the handrail so that it is all clean um, for the garland to go, to go up. Not that you see it, but I don't know. I just think that you should clean it. Um, you should probably clean it more than I clean it. But anyway, it was kind of dirty. And so anyway, I washed the handrail so that I can put up the garland there. I'm not in a real big rush to get all of the um, Christmas decorations put up, but I really would like to have them all up before Thanksgiving. Like that's kind of like, I know a lot of people wait until Thanksgiving to start decorating. But I really would like to have all of my Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving. That way I just have that, you know, if I have all my Christmas presents bought and I have all of my decorating done before um, Thanksgiving, then that, that time period between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I can just enjoy the holidays. Enjoy. I don't have to be like, okay, how much, what else do I need to get done? What do I need to get done? What do I need to get done? Like it really is just about, because that time gets so crazy anyway with Christmas parties and Shop of the Cop and all of the things, the Christmas festival and so many things going on that I really just don't have, um, that I, I don't want to be stressed. I really try to do everything as early as I can so that I can just enjoy the holidays. And so that's really the plan is I just want to get a little bit done. It has been really busy the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, it's always like, I think I'm going to get something done throughout the week. And then Friday gets there and I'm like, I didn't get any of that, that stuff done. So, and that's what happens sometimes, like even after Christmas and it's like, oh, it's already, and I didn't get to do all of that. And I, I want to leave that time for the fun things. I want to be able to go drive around and look at Christmas lights and, um, you know, just all of those holiday things. And, um, not have to worry about, oh my gosh, I have to do this, or I still have to get a gift, or I still have to do that. Um, I do have a really large Amazon um, uh, uh, Amazon order that I was waiting. Um, I need to figure out, I don't know how, <laughs> my son's girlfriend, this girl, she's she was meant to me by daughter i'm telling you because she sent him a list like a, an actual like t a text list of just some things she wanted and then she also created an amazon list so you could actually see like and she said it's not specific it's just you know um it's just ideas and um it's not uh, a lot of people might be thinking oh that's but no, I, I love it. And she didn't ask for anything unreasonable. Like, like everything she asked for was things she kind of needed, like, um, sheets and socks and, um, like one thing's like a $14 fuzzy blanket and, um, just little things like that. It wasn't anything, you know, a bag that's like $14 and, um, some hair scrunchies, like nothing like, and again, she was like, it's not, you don't have to get those things. It was just he wanted ideas and those are some so yeah that makes things oh my gosh so much easier I think everybody should do that I think everybody I told my boys to do that but they haven't well Jacob started kind of making an Amazon list so that helps but that 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 does help but I think that we've got a good um we didn't get a lot of things bought yesterday unfortunately I really had hope to come home and be like I'm good didn't didn't happen didn't happen so, um, yeah, I need to, I, do, I do still need to do some more cleaning. I want to clean all of that off. I still don't have a tree skirt for that 
tree, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I mean, I have extra tree skirts, but I kind of wanted either a blue one or a patriotic one. Or um, a friend of mine said just use, like, patriotic fabric that might look good, too. So I need to figure out something. And then um, I need to clean it off because it's got, like, wrapping paper and Amazon boxes over there. And then I think I'm going to put my village up there. Last year I put my village, my, uh, Jacob made me this, like, village tree but I kind of feel like our house is getting full of things. Like, we've got, like, a new homeschool bookcase, and I've just got, I don't know, it's getting kind of cluttery. It's getting a little bit, um, a little much. And so, um, but uh, and a lot of them, a lot of them are things that we brought home from Jacob's grandparents when he, when he passed away. And they're things we love and things we want and things we want out. So, um, I'm just going to have to get creative. So, it's not like just things I want to get rid of it's just that we, I guess it's just a work in progress of making it all work so um so I think instead of putting up the tree that he made me um I think I'll just put my village in the bay window which I've done several years I stopped doing it I think I maybe it was two years ago he it's been a couple years ago um our dog kept laying up there and so speaking of dog one just hi <laughs> um, but our dogs now, um, this one will sometimes kind of get up there, but, um, she hasn't, you know, not, not a lot, but, um, it won't be, if there's stuff up there, she won't. So that's not a big deal. The, the other one that we used to have, she would have, she passed away. She was really old. She was Jacob's police kind of and she kind of thinks she ruled the world. She did kind of rule the world. But anyway, um, that is kind of where we're at. Other than that, um, just not, it's nice to be home. It's nice to not be going anywhere. Like I sent the boys to get the food. Um, it's not, they did, um, it's a real treat to eat out twice. <laughs> twice back to back, right? Because I did leave the money yesterday when we went out. And normally when we go out on a date night, I leave money for them. Um, I will, or sometimes we'll pick up a pizza and just bring it back before we leave. But I left money for them. And so they were able to go out and get something like, like it's drive through. It's not like, you know, still there's not a lot of places um, that you can eat in, um, we were able to eat at Mexican Villa, so that was good. But, um, but yeah, but a lot of times when we do date, I, I always let them. I want it to be fun for them, too. And so, but, um, again, we're just, um, we're just having, <laughs> I think Jacob saw an ad for something, and he was like, oh, I'm in the mood for that. So that's really what. <laughs> that's really what happened. So yeah, that's that's kind of what we're doing. So yeah, a lot of things going on. It seems busy, but it really doesn't feel that way. It really feels just nice being home and um, we're doing a lot of things, but we're not having to leave. <laughs> that, that saves some energy in itself. So there's the other, you see the other dog? What are you doing, Freckles? What are you doing? What's he doing? Sweet girl. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to think about the camera in your hand. It's weird. You look a bit nervous. <laughs> hey, puppy. Oh, yeah. She's like a cat. She's like, keep petting me. I didn't think I didn't say I was done. Watch. <laughs> Blake has been real good. He takes down the stockings anytime he wants to turn on that fireplace. It's electric and it doesn't get real hot, but I still don't want it, you know, of course, on with like paper, you know, things and the stockings and eventually there'll be chocolate. There's not any chocolate right now, but he takes them all down and then when he turns off the fireplace, he puts them all back. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that sound. It's November. That is the tornado warning sound. So we're under a tornado warning. So we're all in the basement. See? Well, Jacob is not. I don't know where Jacob went to grab something. Um, um, I don't know. He was on the phone with dispatch and his officer and all of the uh, 
emergency management kind of thing. So he will be probably in and out. But we are in the basement. I brought the socks and shoes down. Everybody's got the shoes. Did you find pants? Pants. Okay. Blake was wearing shorts, and pants. so he yeah. wanted he wanted um, pants. But um, thankfully, our laundry is in the basement. So I was like, just go check in the dryer. <laughs> there may be some, and there was. So okay, that's what we're doing. No, the lens cover's not on. It's it's just dark. It's just dark. Boys are playing pool in the basement. Um, we've been in and out. Uh, Jacob is um, keeping um, track with the National Weather Service, his officer, central dispatch, all of that. As of right now, it looks like the most severe weather is about 15 to 20 miles north of us. And it looks like it should, <laughs> it should miss us. But there are some little blips on the radar that look pretty severe as far as thunderstorms go. It's not quite in the purple, which is what we look for with uh, tornadoes. Um, and right yet, that could always change. But, um, but the towns north of us are, 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 are uh, probably gonna get hit pretty bad. So I'll probably get some questions about, yes, we are outside. Yes, we are watching the um, the uh, radar very closely, and but we're also both trained weather spotters, and so we do live on the hill, and we are both outside trying to look at the skies as well um, as, as we stay informed with all of the National Weather Services and um, dispatch and things like that. So that's, that's, that's what it is. Can you hear the sirens? Our basement is a walkout basement. Um, so basically, we stay in here while any sirens or any warnings are out. The kids have to stay in here, all of that. Um, if for some reason there is an actual um, close tornado very close to us or we or we think there's a really good possibility, we have another secure area. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well, but behind me it is all concrete. It's a small concrete room. It's a bathroom, but it's a completely enclosed concrete room. And that is where we will go in the event of um, a dangerous situation. Okay, it looks like... It looks like somebody doesn't really like the storms. But it looks like all of the, um, for now, um, things could change. But. And the dangerous part is over. The tornado warning has been canceled and we are now under a severe threat of storm watch. But we're still in the basement just because the kids are still playing pool. Good Sunday morning. I am going to head to Walmart and get, um, get some groceries. I didn't do a Walmart grocery pickup order um, this week and we're out of a lot of things and so I would normally just schedule a grocery order for um, tomorrow after work or something but um, we're out of like dog food and he'd be a little grouchy if he had to go all day without eating. I would too so anyway so I thought well I just there's a few things that I want to pick up and a few like little Christmas um, gifts that I think I want to go ahead and get and yeah so I think I'll just and they also yesterday was um, part of their Black Friday sale. I don't know that they're, they're doing it weird this year or whatever. And there's a couple things that I knew that just weren't really going to be in high demand. I want to see if they still have them. If they do, great. If they don't, that's okay. I am running out of room, guys. Oh my gosh. It's, it's out of hand. This is the benefit, though, of shopping at like 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. There's no one here. And it's so nice. Like, they, lots of Black Friday deals, lots of, like, gifts and things in there. Um... So yeah, it's it, it's over full, but I am I'm glad I'm happy with everything I've, I'm getting. Guys, the cashier asked me if I wanted another cart. <laughs> I was doing the self checkout, but like the one with the long conveyor belt, and of course I had to have a couple things you know approved or whatever. Um, uh, had like security things on them, but oh my gosh, yeah, I was like I can't push two. I need to I need to try to fit in one. <laughs> Oh, but I got all my 
grocery shopping and a lot of Christmas shopping done. So I need to rethink my list, but I think I'm getting close to being done. I got the stairwell uh, garland all up. It's hard to see. Let me turn on the light so you can actually you can see it in the dark, but you can see the light too. Today has been busy. We went to Lowe's. We did go over and look at and work on the house a little bit. Um, uh, Connor's gone to spend the day with his girlfriend's family. We've just been kind of busy today. This Bucky. Yeah. I didn't film. I didn't even film dinner. We had a uh, pizza for dinner. We normally do pizza on Friday night, but uh, this weekend it's just been kind of crazy, right? So we did pizza. Um, this one was. Um, it was, we tried, we always try, we try to try new ones, new ones, right? Because we have it every week. This one was um, Philly cheesesteak, and then that was an Alfredo one. Thanks for watching this week's vlog days. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season as we prepare um, for the holidays. I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you real soon.